They, they just put me on the ship out on the other side of the river, the ocean there, the river, and uh, took across the channel, went across the channel to I hit Utah Beach, close to Utah Beach, and I got off that and looked with 14 men in a little boat, and I come up and hit, hit what you call D-Day. And some of the men made it and some didn't. One of my best friends, Billy Moore, got killed coming in, and I made it, and he didn't, he, he got killed. And Billy Moore and my best friends were next to me. And I went in the, went on up a hill there and joined the, found, caught my outfit at a church steeple out right there, and I got in a foxhole there. I got wounded going up to this church, so that's why I got wounded in my leg. Billy Moore, he, he didn't make it. A lot of them didn't make it. So I dropped, I dropped my rifle in the channel, had to go up and meet my outfit with, with no rifle. And the next thing I got, there was a plane, the plane came in and they shot the plane down. And I got a rifle off that plant, that pilot kept it, tell it. And I was already wounded. And I stayed in the hospital for five months and I went back over over the in England on that little river there, but the ships was coming down and some Germans coming in there. And uh took a beating right there, then then I went back over over the street and the battle of the blood. Yeah. And that is D Day right yonder. See the man laying in there? Mm -hmm. That's D Day right there. General Omar Bradley is, is a general. Omar Bradley. And that's the D Day, that's why I went in there the first day. Well I remember the main thing dropped my rifle and me crawling up that hill with no rifle at all. And that's when I got wounded. I made it right on the beach, but when I got had to crawl up, that's where I got wounded at. They, they tried their best to keep me in the bed and all, but I, I couldn't do it. I just I had to get up and crawl somewhere or another. I, every time they, they had to put me back in bed, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't go to sleep party. So, so I just made the best I could, and I, I got in a, a chair. When the doctors come and examine me. Two doctors come up there and was going to take my leg off and this third doctor come out and said that we're not going to do that so they didn't take my leg off so that saved my leg, that third doctor. And the only thing I could do is get that wheelchair and get off that bed and go to the bathroom and come back, that's all. I got back to the barracks. I had set, we, had, we had put on tennis shoes to make that hike. 30 mile hike with, with no rest at all, just with pack. When I got back to the barracks, I, I took the tennis shoes off and blood was coming in my feet, feet right here. And then, but it wasn't any of them made that hike. I, I, got a, I got a prize for the, making it, but a lot of them didn't make it. Rangers had to go first, you see, and clear things out and they'll clean mines and all. I, I, I was sitting on the stool down and the general come out and said, boy, you you see, you made, but I don't see a lot of you made. I said, well, I, my shoes, the blood was coming out of my feet. But they just wore off just about, you know, 30 miles, full field pack on. You go through training, you, you've, done, you've done good, you didn't go through training. Especially combat engineers taking up mines. See, I, I draw was take up mines too. Sometimes they'd go off and get killed. That was, that was the time I was lucky too. Yeah. I took up some mines. I made that high and bought my, sent my tennis shoes home. <laughs> People say, say y'all forget something, you can't do it. You don't forget things like that. You try to get almost killed several times and just lucky to get by, sipping on mines and all. Well, I just bought, they just 
bring back members and you think about it and then you just have to forget about it and just you get bad you just try and save your life and and uh, you come just keep your mind on your life and try and save it and, and seeing that some of the friends next to you getting killed. I was going one time and they picked me up one time and put me on the back of a Jeep, a little t t truck up on top of it and comes to a crossroad that they opened fire on us and I was laying up on top of that thing. The driver, he got out and hit, hit the ditch and left me laying up on top of it. But I was just lucky to, to not get hit there. Close call. It was a great experience. I was so glad to get back home. I don't, I don't know if it's real good to leave that somebody and being in the hospital five months and going back in the battles. And that's the reason I had to take my wife and went back over and they built that church to the back. We had dinner in that church. It was wonderful. I mean, I was in the place. That's the way I got wounded that way, and then and having dinner and all back in that church where they built the steeple back. They blow the steeple down to start with, but then they built it back. So we had dinner in that church steeple, in the church. That's the fourth division ivy patch. And that's over when I was in the service. That's all they talk about. Yeah, that's Duncan Park. That's my wife, Michelle. Any kind of tragedy. That's me on a motorcycle. Which one's you, Daddy? I'm just right there. I've got my rifle, pointing my rifle. I can't all see it right there. Sit right in here. You can sit. That's you right there. This is me right here. This book is. This book is full of stuff. Mm -hmm. God, this is gonna hard to fit in here. <laughs>